you are very welcome to this video. This is a infill video really. Um, I'm in the middle of making multi-tooth tool sheaths and I'm waiting for the dye to dry and uh, one of the reasons that the videos are not following exactly on weekly the last two weeks is that it was my birthday and uh, as part of my birthday I received a present of some leather so although I didn't buy this leather a member of my family did buy the leather for me and so what I thought I would do is I would use this leather to make um, a mystery braid and so that's what I'm going to try and do today um, I'm not going to guarantee to get oops, excuse me all of it done today I've got clips I've got Chicago screws I've got studs I've got all sorts of things here and I've measured the wrist of one person and so this is based on their wrist size but I haven't decided whether this is actually going to be um, a wrist band or whether it's going to be a keychain so we will see right the measurements I've got are all in inches so the first thing I need to do is some marking now measurements are just off camera so I need something that's three quarters of an inch wide so we will start actually I think what we might do is just make that a square edge I really do need to get organized I think how am I best going to do this now that edge there is to all intents and purposes straight so I shall make that edge straight as well um, and cut along first time I've tried cutting this leather I'm all at the wrong angle as I, as I should have thought about this previously prior preparation and all of that so that's the first part so we now we now know that we've got two straight edges so the first thing I've got to do is I've got to measure the full length and it's going to be nine and five eighths of an inch long so nine and five eighths takes us to there so if I cut a tab there right the next thing is it needs to be three quarters of an inch wide so if i measure down three quarters of an inch that gets me to there now i can see that and i shall measure three quarters of an inch down on this side as well I probably won't be able to see this one it's three quarters of an inch and what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to draw a line between the two
not a very good line, but that's fairly close. I've just learned something. You need to have a corked back ruler because this is going to move. Okay, so what I now need to do is I need to measure in for the studs. And they're one inch in from each side. So, oh, excuse me. Um, so, it's three eighths of an inch. down will give me the halfway point and three eighths of an inch down here will do the same thing uh, oops. that's in 30 seconds which will certainly confuse me so three eighths of an inch is there. Now, it doesn't matter that I'm making marks at the ends because I intend to trim the ends slightly. Right, so I need to come in one inch from this end and that is where we will have one of the studs and one inch in from this end that is where we'll have the other stud so i now know where the studs are going to go i now need to cut two slits start again so they need to be three quarters of an inch from that but they also need to be a quarter of an inch in from the outside this is where I could do with this ruler being in imperial as well because that is what is uh, causing me a problem Okay, right, so now I need to cut between those two lines, so that one done. OK. 
Okay. So, I have my strap cut, so now I need to cut it out. So, I have to be a bit more careful here. So the ends don't need to be perfect because I'm going to do something with those. Okay, so that's my piece cut out. And as you can see we have we have the straps. Now I'm told that this could be a bit too thin but we're going to give it a go so the next thing I need to do is punch the holes for the snaps so And one of the reasons for this is because it makes it suitable for putting a nail through here and holding it on the, the workbench. The only problem is, is I don't have a nail. Um, so I'm going to have to improvise with something. I'll be back in a moment when I've found something to improvise with. As I said before, I've got, got absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but I do know that I need to hold one end still. So I shall put that there. See if that will hold that. Now, I'm told you have to wrap. Well, that was about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. Don't know if this will work, but let's give it a go. See if we can do a better job this time. That feels a bit more secure. Right, so you wrap the first one under the middle, the second one under the middle, the first one under the middle, and the second one under the middle, at which point you take that, put it through there, under there, pull it straight. Um, forgot where I was. I think it's that one there, and then that one there, and then you put that through. Good grief! Good grief! I'm really impressed. Now, I didn't think I could do that. 
Okay, it, it's definitely not pretty, but it is what it's supposed to be. Um, so let's try the next one. So that one under the middle, 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 that through there, and that through there. That one goes under the middle. That one goes under the middle. And then that comes back through. According to what they say. And that did not work. So obviously I made an error there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can actually see what my work surface looks like when uh, it's not prepared for videoing. Everything has to sit in its boxes and out of the way. Um, I've actually finished the strap. Uh, I have absolutely no idea how I did that. It took me about 10 goes and then all of a sudden it worked. So I have absolutely no idea how that happened like that. But that's life. That's life. So what I've done is I've put uh, um, a glove snap on and that, and it's the first one. And as I say, it's, a, it's basically a, proto, a prototype to see how it works. If I'm using this type of leather, I should actually bond or glue another piece to the back because it was a bit too thin. Very easy to do. As I say, I've got no idea how I did this mystery braid but I've been doing a bit more research on the internet and I found other ways of doing it so I shall try that. I've ordered some round end punches so when they arrive I'll actually put rounded ends. I've just sort of just cut them a little bit here. So I'd like to know what uh, you think. Um, do you like this sort of thing? Uh, they can be used for all sorts of things like handles and that type of thing. Um, 
and and it's really 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 quick to do once you work out how to do this mystery plaiting mystery braid so i hope you uh, enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button and uh, not forgetting to press the bell icon for more and um, subscribe if you didn't please hit the dislike button and tell me why in the comments below if you wish if you'd like to support the channel there are links to my Kofi and patreon pages below to on the patreon page you can get early access to videos and access to patterns and exclusive videos i'll put this pattern on there but it just depends on your wrist size as to whether it would fit or not and uh, thank you very much for watching and i'll see you very soon for another how-to video.